The inspiration for voices is divine. That's according to this contemporary artist, Sylvester Aguda. It's displayed by his unique gift at this exhibition as he encourages younger artists to use their talents to make a difference in humanity. Expressions, silent and spoken, is what contemporary artist Sylvester Aguda is capturing in this solo exhibition of paintings, prints, and wearable art in Lagos. This piece best captures the essence of this show. This piece, I titled it Voices, in line with the theme of this exhibition. As you can see, the, you, you can see in this face, there are so many expressions. Now, you don't have to say anything. Expressions speak. You can, somebody can wink at you and it's like, I'm in agreement. You could say something and the person goes, you know, and like, I'm not in agreement or some arrogance here and all that. And sometimes people smile and you see that line, you know, shows that I'm in support or I appreciate. So you don't have to speak. You don't have to make any sound. The expressions on your face already is your voice. But that's not to say it supersedes the other pieces on display as each has a message for this generation, one the artist is passionate about, finding that silver lining in any dark cloud. Instead of relying on the negativity and all the bad news around me, I decided to change that to something positive. And you know, ideas kept coming. I was more restless, I became restless. I just wanted to do something new. And that has resulted into the kind of art that I've done. Very different from my collage art. I've been able to do things with bamboo, I've been able to do take metal strings, I got pallets, wood, I've made all sorts of things in a very short time. I never believed I could do all this. So that period actually was just like a new, a new it was like a new season for me. The things I never imagined I could do, I started doing them. So what this tells me is that you only limit yourself, your mind is what limits you. When you put yourself to something, you will achieve it. So I stopped dwelling on the negatives. I stopped, you know, just... I just believe God was going to take absolute control and the world was going to heal. But when the world heals, what's going to happen? People will be looking out for new things. So what are you going to share with the world now that the pandemic is eventually going down? Whatever it is, I want to use my artworks to empower people, to keep them very positive, that there's going to be a life. This, is, this too is going to come and pass away like every other thing. The titles and even the colors used in the images speak to a situation. A case in point is this work of art. In that piece there, you have the sky and the trees in cast. You have them in cast, and what this tells you is that there's dusk and dawn. As long as there's a new day, there is hope. For every day that you wake up, as long as the sun comes up, you need to stay positive. There's so many things you can do. Don't limit yourself. Just take that step. Before you walk, you crawl. Just make that movement. Don't stay stagnant. For this artist, having back-to-back -back exhibitions is not a stroll in the park, so he tried to make this one unique, as the only limit is in the mind, pandemic or not. I have an artwork here that I made out of broken frames, bits and pieces of broken frames, and I titled it A Beautiful World. You know, when all this is happening, the world, they say it's a dynamic place, I'll be able to do something that depicts the fact that you can survive in a harsh world, you can survive in, in the world generally, you have to just be positive. The power of social media and the need to nurture the future creatives is important as displayed here. For upcoming artists and a lot of young um, people who are gifted in all aspects of life, is it poetry, is it drama, acting, music or art, I'll say please don't stop doing what you're doing. You are in an era where you have the power of social media, use it well. You have all sorts, but it depends on how you use it. If my dad has stopped me from drawing completely, I wouldn't be where I am today after 19 years of career. I just want to encourage every young artist or any young person who is creative out there to continue to put their words, works out there. I see what Channels is doing. Channels, they found me online because I put my works out there. Take advantage of the online platform. Put your works there. You can never tell who is gonna support you. 
The artist is walking the talk in passing the creative torch to the next generation as his twin boys are showcasing pictures and here to support their father. Amazing how refreshing new ideas can just rush in and motivate as well as inspire people. When I see the sketches on a work of art, it motivates me more to create something unique. I get motivated mostly by works of veteran artists on Art House and other art platforms. Then the idea of wanting to be better also pushes me. What's on motivated me to be creative is the free expression available to all and sundry in the arts and crafts field. I love being unique, and so that's why you can hardly find my creations anywhere. Ideas sometimes. We live in a collage of utopic ideas of great art we want to execute. We find ways to get it done, no matter the economic conditions. On the next episode of the program, we have more exhibitions talking about sexual and gender-based violence but this time, it's at the Yabatek Art Museum. Then remember the Enugu leg of art, voice, power. That will be on the next edition of Art House. This is my artwork for the exhibition. The exhibition is um, to talk about elimination of violence against women and girls. We'll see that and more on the next episode of Art House. From our teaser, you can tell that the next episode of the show promises to be even more interesting. So be sure to tune in or view us online on YouTube as well as our website, channelstv.com. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.